I am going to be making some homemade bread and um, I just heated up a little bit of a quart of um, some goat's milk and heated on the wood stove. Here, let me hold this. And this is just King Arthur flour. And this is King Arthur flour. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Bella's going to peel some apples so we can make some apple sauce for tonight for dinner. With dinner, I should say. All right, so this is just lukewarm like you would for baby. I already washed my hands. This is lukewarm like you do for like a baby's bottle. And you can use whatever sugar you like. I usually use two handfuls. And this was more than this. I put a little bit more, but just to give you an idea. And that's how much I use for that. Just a little pinch. That was probably a lot. You could use a little bit less than that. And I'll, like roughly two of them. Like that. And uh, you can use a little more because I'm not making a big batch of it. Other times I would make a bigger pot of this. A lot more. And um, I buy it in this because it's a lot cheaper than buying in the packages. So if you plan on making bread, buy it that way. Don't buy it in the packages. And now I'm going to squish this around like this. And you don't want to use this for a few hours. Once you're done, once you're done, you want this to sit for at least, I would say, four hours. And that'll make it nice. Too many hours of letting it sit, it'll taste too much yeasty. Normally, I, I'll go like this. Watch how I do this. I'm going to pour it in here. Oops, like that, right? I might have to, because none of this is measured, I might have to add more milk to this. So okay. I'm starting in the, I'm starting in the middle. What's Mom, that? Can I make bread? Yes, you can, but you gotta heat yours up. Go and put, put some milk on the wood stove and heat it up. Well, leave it in that. Just put a little milk in that. Okay. See, I'm starting in the middle. I'm going like this, starting in the middle, and I'm just sticking to one spot, and you'll see it. And as I'm doing it, I'll make my hand wider and wider, like this. Now I'm gonna start to bring it in. That's enough, Stan. That's enough. Show Stanley making it. This is what he's doing. He just poured. This is goat's milk. And did you wash your hands, Stanley? Yeah. Heat your milk up on the wood stove. Just put it right on the wood stove. Go back a little, Lydia. And this is Victoria, and Bella's Mom. doing that. And Stanley and I let all the kids cook with me. You can see Mom. how I'm going to push this in. What? Um, can I heat it up in the microwave? No. Let this put it right on the wood stove. Because in the microwave, you'll overheat it. On the wood stove, you can keep track of it. Because you don't want to overheat it. If you heat it too hot, it'll kill the yeast. And it's easy to overheat it. See, I'm, I'm just adding in slowly. And a lot of people say, how do you know if it's mixed enough? You know how you know if it's mixed enough? You know, did you ever see what dough looks like? When you're done, it should look like dough. So, now I'm going to, I'm working in my corners. I'm working in the corners and I'll add it in slowly. I, you know, I don't try to mix it in all at once. See how this pot's got the flour? And now I'm going to just go in a circle like this. And, and I'm always, every time I do it, I touch the bottom. So, see how it's looking? And all these ingredients, give me one egg now. Give me an egg, Stanley. Okay, egg up there. one. Just one egg. So okay. I'll mix an egg in, egg in here also. And then I'm going to add a little more flour. 
Alright, so here's one of the eggs, and we don't wash our eggs always when we bring them in, but it ain't going to hurt nothing. You can see how nice these eggs are. See the eggs? How nice they are? Can you so, do it, Mom? No, you're doing your own. But, Look at I can't even break the yolk. Oh, I know how to. But I'm saying, it's a nice... Look how bright they are. Can you see how bright they are? Stan, go and check on your stuff on the wood stove. I read that. See how bright yellow they are? I let the chickens free range. So now I'm going to mix this in. And my bread doesn't come out the same every single time. And I put an egg in it because I just do it for vitamins. That's all. In my head, I use the milk for vitamins. And, okay. Okay. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna go a little more stand. So that's my grandson Zachary. You can see how it's starting to look, but it's still. You know, Mom, really, can I do like a this? rest? No, nope, nope, you're doing your one. Go get yours. Come on. No, nope, let it heat up. Please. No. Nope. Please, please. No. I need a little. No, nope, you're going to do your own. Mm -hmm. I always let the kids cook with me. As you can see here, he wants to help me now. But what I like to do is I like to let them make their own little batches. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. He's going to take his little I like to, um... Apple! Apple! Say hi, Stan. Hi. No, it's not. You can't have Okay, so now, I'm going to see how it's like this. You can see that... But see how smooth it is? No, Stan. Hmm. See how smooth it is? You can see it. When I call it smooth, there ain't really lumps in it. Go back and check on yours. So now I'm going to just keep going like this. Grab a big handful of it. And I just pushed it like that. And now I'm gonna push it in here. I should have I should have used something else instead of my hand when I put it into that jar. I should have used like a ladle or something. Um, let me see. All this is gonna be baked, so we're not eating this raw. You know, I'm, I'm not rushing this to get in here. I'm just breaking it in slowly. Hold your hand up, student. You said you washed your hands? Yeah. Okay, open this jar up. Okay. Is that good, my boy? Okay. Now, give me a hand. I, I'm going to just give him a little bit. Yeah. Inside voice, Zachary. Okay. Did you show how much you had in your hand to the camera thing? Mm-hmm. You should have. Okay, close this up tight. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, give me a hand. Now a little salt. This is, oops, I got to pour some of that. That was way too much. Give me a Let me see your hand again. That should be good. Just a hair bit more. Yeah, that should be good. I'll put that over here. Hate to waste it, but now sugar. Hold your hand out. Give you some. Mix it all up. Start mixing okay. it up. Pull your sleeves back. Mm. Bella, help pull the sleeves back, please. Yes, mother. Just, just keep mixing it. 
and plus it spills like Play-Doh. Now, as you can see, this is sitting here. You can see it's coming along nice already. When I call something coming along nice, because it's already bubbling. Bubbling means it's it's uh, nice, light, and fluffy. Thank you. You're you welcome. can see them. Mother, I'm all done cutting the apples. All right, you know, take them and cut them up in slices and get them in a saucepan. Yes, she's, she's being a phony. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, see how I'm doing this? <laughs> don't know what funny at all. Okay, and now see how it's starting to come off my hand a little bit? But... I need more milk. No, you didn't get more milk. You're going to mix it in. Now, see how you do that? Now I'm going to keep this stick to one side. I keep wiping it from the edges. Like this. Like this. Yeah, a little bit more milk. Don't you agree? Nope, just keep mixing it. Do you like me stealing? Like this. Like that. Now, I just wipe it from the edge, just pull it in. Wipe it from the edge, pull it in. Like that. Just keep pulling it in. And then I move the pot. Just keep my hand up and down, pull it. Up and down, pull it. But the trick is I touch the pot, I rub it against the pot, and then I pull it in. At all times, I'm touching the pot. You know, I press it like I'm trying to scrape the pot clean. That's how I describe what I'm doing. And once I, I just keep turning, and I don't go like Stanley's, like, you know, like in a circle like that. I don't do that. I just keep one, one motion like this. Up, over, come up. Up, over, come up. Up, up, over, come up. Up, come on in. Now, don't worry about, like, if yours don't match mine. Um, all bread is going to taste good. It's going to come out different every time you do it. Um, sometimes it's going to be more stickier. Stickier will make it... Um, the less it'll be heavier, the more stickier it'll be. I think it makes it a little lighter. Sticky. Mm. Mine is way stickier than you are. Keep mixing it. You ain't done stealing. See how now it's coming off my hand? See? You go like that. And as it sits, as it sits, it'll, um, It'll get drier also. So remember, the longer it sits, because the liquid will go into the flour even more. And you can see how smooth it looks, and that's what it's supposed to look like. This is pretty much done. So that's how we make the bread. And this will sit for a few hours. I'll keep it with something on top of it. And uh, see how my hands are coming clean? They ain't pulling on me no more. Like I said, the longer this is going to sit. And what you can do when you go to make your biscuits, you take your hands, it's going to sound gross, take some butter or whatever you're using, act like it's like lotion. Take your hand, wash your hands with it, rub it in your hands, and then you go like this, watch. Bring this over here, pull it up like this, and then you're going to pinch it off like that, and then you roll it. So that's how when you go to make your biscuits. Yeah, but mine don't work. Or you, I, my family likes, it's called uh, dry scones. We take it, we just pull it, stretch it, and um, I put it on flour on a black iron frying pan and just heat it like that, no butter or nothing. But then when I'm done, I take a fork and I open it up and put butter inside of it. It's delicious. But this is pretty much how you want it to look. And it doesn't have to look exactly like this. And let me tell you what you don't have to have. You don't have to have anything besides salt, water, and this. You don't even have to have milk. You don't have to have the egg. Um, I do it for vitamins. I have a goat. I have a, I had cows, so 
I try to give the kids as vitamins. That's in my head how I think of it. And um, But if you don't have it, you can make bread with different ingredients. You can add anything you want with it also. You can add um, nuts or berries or anything you can add to it too. So, Mom, we'll see how it looks. so this is done. Mom, wait, Sarah. All right, let me see. Let me say goodbye. Thank you.